February 26th is Levi Strauss Day, so what better day to talk about the history of Levi's jeans? In 1829, Levi Strauss was born in Butenheim, Bavaria, where he had three older brothers and three older sisters. In 1846, Levi and his sisters immigrated to New York City, where two of his brothers owned a wholesale dry goods business called J. Strauss Brother & Company. Not long after, Levi began learning the trade himself. In 1853, Levi moved to San Francisco and started his own wholesale dry goods business as the West Coast representative of his family's New York firm. Levi called this Levi Strauss and Company. And in 1872, Levi received a letter from one of his customers, Jacob Davis, a Reno, Nevada tailor. In this letter, Jacob shared his unique way of making pants using rivets to make them last longer for working men. Needing a patent and a business partner, Levi granted Jacob the patent and thus, on May 20th, 1873, blue jeans were born. In 1886, the official two-horse trademark was introduced. The two horses logo represents the strength of the denim. In 1890, the official lot number for waist sizing was officially registered and incorporated as the beloved and well-known 501. As for ladies, Levi's officially introduced denim jeans for the working woman, especially working ranch women, in 1934. The official lot number for this waist sizing is registered as the 701s. And just two years later, Levi's introduced the first red tab in the right back pocket to differentiate from other competition. To learn more about Levi Strauss and the history of the company, just go to levistrauss.com.